So I'm Thomas Gent, I'm a farmer from South Lincolnshire and I also work for a company called Agrina. I'm standing here on our farm today and we're based in South Lincolnshire on the Lincolnshire Cambridgeshire border. So we're an arable combinable crop farm here. Um, we've been sort of on the regenerative journey here on our farm for about the last 15 years and we grow um, traditional combinable crops, cereals and forage crops. So our farm here has been on the regenerative journey for about the last 15 years. I'm 25, so my dad and granddad made that transition when I was around 10 and 11. Um, and I, and I, this is the only way I know how to farm. The principles that we try to implement here on our farm are three. The first one is to reduce the amount of soil disturbance we, act, we do across the farm. The second one is to uh, maximise the amount of soil cover we have, both in terms of crops and plant residue third one is to re reduce our artificial inputs and then replace them with more organic materials. My experience um, of farming here and practically doing the work means when I engage with customers to talk, them, to, talk to them about Agrina and the carbon program, um, I understand the practical issues that they're going through and I can engage with them on the, on the kind of farmer to farmer level um, and understand what's going on. So at Lama, um, I'm speaking um, on behalf of Agrina and I'm speaking about our carbon program has been operating for the last three years um, and we now want to talk about what we've learned in these last th three years and what farmers can, can engage with in, in the future. Farmers really need to understand that carbon as a as a very new subject for them but we all know it's going to be part of the future um, and it's really important that farmers start to engage with it now so they can be ahead um, as all of these new programs and practices are going to be implemented. Carbon is a very hot topic for, in agriculture. It's been talked about a lot recently um, and it's really important that farmers start to engage and learn and see how they can implement these practices and this knowledge on their farming system. I really hope um, farmers will understand that this, this is now an industry that's here to stay um, and it is going to be part of the future and this is the time, it's now the time for them to come and engage and come and ask us all of those tricky questions they've got in their heads. <laughs>